people repeat their busy daily routines, eating and sleeping. They work hard all their lives to obtain wealth or honor and power, or just to make a living. However, they all die in the end. What is more fearful than the death of the body is judgment after that. Just as man is destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. Just as criminal activities are recorded on CCTV cameras, whatever we do on this earth is recorded in the books of heaven. The dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. Whether or not the accused is guilty and what sentence he is given are determined according to the law books on this earth. Likewise, whether a person goes to heaven or hell after death is determined according to the Bible. Each person was judged according to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. The Bible says there are some special people will not be judged as guilty. Blessed and holy are those who have part in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them. What should we do to have part in the first resurrection so that we can avoid being judged and punished in the lake of fire and hell? In the Bible, God clearly shows us how to participate in the first resurrection. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. To take part in the first resurrection, we must eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood. Then how can we eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood? Take and eat. This is my body. Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. By keeping the Passover of the new covenant, we eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood and receive the forgiveness of all our sins. Since we are forgiven of our sins, we are able to participate in the first resurrection. All the earthly things that people set great value on are useless before the judgment seat of God after death. However, it is valuable to participate in the first resurrection by keeping the Passover of the new covenant that Jesus established through his flesh and blood. That's because only those who take part in the first resurrection can avoid the punishment of hell. Let us all keep the Passover of the new covenant so that we will have eternal life and live in glory forever in the kingdom of heaven.